Let's talk about dollar cost averaging. Do you share with your client what is dollar cost averaging? Is there a way that you can share with your client in a systematic way what is dollar cost averaging all about? Let me share with you a scenario, okay? Suppose I, you know Stephanie, okay, I tell you, you invest $5,000 with me every year, okay? For five years. Okay, total amount is going to be, I'm going to put inside $35,000 with me. Okay, so, I should go ahead and do this. Okay, so first year, okay, for, for illustration purposes, use simple number. Don't use too cheap number. Okay, so in, in this illustration, right, I'm just going to use two basic points. Uh, okay, $1 and 50 cents. Okay? Year one, year two, year three, year four, year five. Okay? Right? So this fund started at one dollar, very exciting. Went down to 50 cents. Okay? Went up to one dollar. Went down to 50 cents. And then finally went back up to one dollar. Okay, over the past five years. It did not even break beyond $1. In fact, it went all the way down to 50 cents, two consecutive, two alternate years. So your mother called me, hey, ma, what kind of lousy investment is this? Okay, oh, you're a con man. Uh. Hey, quick, quick, sell, sell, sell. Okay, I think I, I want to uh, cut loss for her. Okay, so okay, 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 okay. Let me count like, okay, how much you have bought so far. Okay, so first year, year one. 5,000, okay, $1, how many units, 5,000 units, okay, year 2, 5,000, okay, 50 cents, how many units, 10,000 units, alright, year 3, okay, 5,000 units, year 4, 10,000 units, okay, and year 5, 5,000 units, all in all, total number of units, but remember what's the name of the game just now I said? It's to accumulate as many units as possible. Okay? So over the past five years, you have accumulated 35,000 units. <coughs> and we sell at one dollar. How much do you get back? 35,000 dollars. Okay? Then your mother asked me, hey, how come? Uh, how come I thought it's not doing well, but then now I get 10,000 dollars more. Okay? This is the power of dollar cost averaging. Okay? It's as long as you consistently purchase on a regular basis, regardless of the price, okay, your, your work average cost will average out. Okay? But of course, one assumption is what? One assumption is what? Always remember. Okay? You go back to this. Okay? The underlying investment must go up, right? And how do you ensure it can go up? How can you ensure that it's go up? Time is the investor's best friend. Okay, that's why all my clients were booked for 20 years, 30 years. Okay, because they believe every year I go back to them. Good time, I go back to them. Bad time, I go back to them. Okay, every year, because of the review, I see them, okay, they tell me, bad time, they, I explain to them, uh, good time, you know, sometimes they buy me a meal, sometimes they just assume, take for granted also, uh, right, but <laughs> doesn't matter, good or bad, I'll still be there, okay, and then over the years, they see already, and every day I tell them this, time is the investor's best friend, okay, can you imagine, do that over 20 years, what will happen, it become reality, la. Uh. Time is really the investor's best friend, okay? Two dollar cost average. That is how you have to explain to them, okay? To a certain level of absolute confidence uh, that this is going to work, okay? In fact, a lot of my clients who are, you know, they are they're always telling me, hey, but I invest myself better, lah. 
How many of your clients do say they say that? You know, after they went for some investor seminar or sign up for some forex trading course, or they say become I become a guru already. I'm an expert in investment. You know, I can. Hey, man, this one lousy. I right? hey, one day I can make five percent. One or five percent a day. One one month and sixty percent. Okay, but after that you after three years you get hey, how 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 is it? I don't say really lah. Okay. <laughs> Right, end up they buy this. Okay, so I want to go talk about this thing uh, in, in, in a short while. The rule of 100. Anybody heard of the rule of 100? You know, now, now we are starting to, the, the client is starting to warm up. Right? Well, after, after the 11 idea, you bombard him. Uh, he still. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, 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 good. I think somewhere, somewhere. Not enough, uh. <laughs> okay. So rule of hundred. Anybody want a rule of hundred? Okay. So for me, I will just tell them this uh, Okay. Let's say you have a fort uh. Okay. So this is your fort. We are fighting a war uh. So the enemy is here. Okay. So very bad people. Now let's say you got hundred soldiers. How much? How many people will you want to commit uh, to fight the enemy so that you can? get the reward, okay? Yeah, I didn't need a lot of money. So, how many people are not coming? Mark. 20. 20. 20 to fight, and then 80, keep here. Okay, so you are the, you are more of a low risk taker, I believe. Right? Okay. Now, but based on the rule of 100, right? A very simple rule. When, when people ask, how much risk should I take? Okay, but this is just a rule of thumb. Uh. Ultimately, you still need to re refer back to your average eye and do the risk profile. Okay, but the simple idea is to take 100 minus of your current age. Okay, and that would be the basic allocation of bonds and equity that you must have. Okay, so your current age will be the bond. Uh. Okay, and the equity will be here. Right, so Mark, how old are you? 24. Okay, so you should have about 76% equity. So it's the other way around. Okay. Why? Why? Back to the same thing. Time is the investor's best friend. Don't you think with so much time, a bit wasteful if you don't take a bit of risk? Okay, but of course, I'm not here to convince your risk profile. I'm just going to guide you to the right direction because. Sometimes, uh, imagine uh, if the doctor asks the patient, Hey, what do you think? Uh, what kind of medicine do you think you should take? Uh? <laughs> what kind of illness do you think you have? Uh? Hey, come on, do a profile. Uh, what you think you have there, I will cure you. Uh. And myself don't have a doctor better. Correct. The doctor is there to diagnose with his experience, okay, based on my statistics, my analytics, or whatever. This is the best treatment for you. Likewise, you are a, you are a financial doctor, right? So based on certain principles, which is very sound, 100 years is 100 years old. Lah, okay? Of course, you want to be a bit more conservative, you can reduce it to 85 or whatever, doesn't matter. Okay? But this would be the general direction that most of my clients are actually advise. Because you, you see, when I first started in this business, I was also about age, about 21, 22. Okay? Almost all my clients bought ILP. Because somehow, somewhere I heard from someone that time is the investor's best friend. Okay, and with time and a proper strategy of dollar cost averaging, okay, a proper allocation of funds, okay, and getting the right fund managers in, somehow money can be made. And it happened 20 years later. So I'm actually sharing with you with the experience that I have. Okay? Yeah. Okay.